Hey, how's it going? It's Ollie here. So, uh, as you can see, I've actually moved house, right? Living in a new apartment right now. And over the past week since my last video, um, it's been a lot of putting stuff in boxes, figuring out what to pack, what to throw away. I threw away a load of stuff, it was like the most liberating thing ever. And getting ready to move here. And probably for the next two, three, four weeks, it's going to be a lot of unpacking things out of boxes and um, yeah, trying to figure out where to put it in the new place. So, definitely uh, time consuming and took a lot of energy. But I really wanted to uh, deliver a special video for you today. Even though I haven't unpacked my camera or tripod yet, I'm using uh, the iPhone. I actually got a big window here with uh, nice light coming in and I thought I could shoot a video uh, using this instead. So today we're going to talk about how to get to six figures on Amazon as fast as humanly possible. All right? And what is it that you should be doing that you may not be doing that's holding you back from getting to six figures? So, first of all, perhaps let's talk about why you want to get to six figures anyway. Well, if you look at the profit of most Amazon businesses and you look at the margins, usually to hit your goal, you're going to need six figures in sales. All right, because we're talking usually an average profit margin of somewhere between 20% to maybe 30% on average. Some businesses do way more than that. I've got some clients that do 40% margins. Some businesses do way less. I know some people who've made 5% margins on Amazon um, and they still make a lot of money. All right? But usually it's between the 20 to 30% range. So if you want to replace the income from your job selling on Amazon and make anywhere between 2K to maybe 5K, 6K a month, or maybe 10K a month, profit, then you're going to have to make six figures in sales per year. Now it's going to be anything between 120k at the very minimum to maybe 5-600k uh, maximum if you want to have say 10k a month profit. It'll be somewhere in the range. Usually it's people's goals. They usually want to make about 300k per year. Something like that. So that's why we want to make six figures. right? Because we need to have enough profit at the end of the day for this whole thing to actually be worth it for you. So how do you shorten the learning curve and get there really, 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 really fast? As in, ramp up to that level within 6 to 12 months. Well, the thing you have to understand is how to utilise leverage when you're selling on Amazon. Like That's the only thing you have to do if you want to grow fast. Right? In fact, leverage is really the number one reason that you should be wanting to build a business rather than working in a job. Because when you work in a job, you have zero leverage. Right? You're being paid per hour in most cases. And if you want to earn more money, you have to work longer hours. If you work less, you earn less. So you have zero leverage. Well, in a business, there are ways you can work less, a lot less, and earn a lot more. So how does this work? Well, let's talk about the, the different types of leverage you have when you're in uh, an Amazon business, and let's talk about how we can actually take advantage of these to get you crazy results. So on Amazon, you have three different types of leverage, okay, when you have an e-commerce business uh, selling on Amazon. And I refer to them as the three Ps, right? the three Ps of leverage selling on Amazon. Number one is power. Right? You have the power of Amazon behind you as you're growing your business. All right? So, for example, you have Amazon's brand. Right? Like when you're starting your own company, there's a huge issue that the general public are going to have with you, and that's that they don't trust you. They don't know who you are. They've never used your company before. And they've never bought your products before. They've never seen how your customer service works. When you're selling on Amazon, all of that stuff disappears because you're partnering with Amazon. Everyone trusts Amazon. 
right? So that gives you a huge step up compared to people selling products not on Amazon. Another part of the power of Amazon is the infrastructure, right? So you have the fulfillment network, the fulfillment centers, the storage, the customer service Amazon handle for you, and the delivery networks, the partnership Amazon have with UPS, which get you very, very, very cheap shipment rates. All of this stuff makes running a business way easier because you don't have to figure this out. You don't have to call up loads of uh, delivery companies and figure out who's the cheapest. You don't have to hire customer service staff. Amazon do this for you, right? The other thing in power uh, of FBA is uh, the website, all right? If you sell on Amazon, you don't have to build a website. Um, a lot of people underestimate actually how much effort goes into building a website and not just getting it created like going to Wix.com and creating it, but optimizing it to make sure it converts well. So when people visit the website, they actually buy things. Amazon has got the best cart process on the planet, like bar none. They have tested so much. Every time you go through the checkout, something has been slightly tweaked because they're always testing new things to figure out what gets people to buy stuff in the most effective way. So you, you can leverage that as well. That's the first P, power of Amazon. Second P is the power of profit. So if you have a business that makes profit, the amazing way you can leverage this is by using the profit to scale, right? Using the profit to grow really fast. Now there's two main ways we do this. Number one, using arbitrage, right? In fact, the way I got started selling on Amazon was with arbitrage. I had no money in the beginning. I just used a bit of money from a credit card to get started and I bought some stock um, I think I spent about 300 pounds in stock and I turned that into something like 600 pounds, 700 pounds and I bought more stock and then I turned that into like a thousand pounds and then I reinvested that and bought more stock and it just kept growing and growing and growing to the point where I was doing four or five thousand pounds a month profit and I started importing from China and reinvesting the money from those sales back in more products and it all started because of arbitrage which is what I did in the beginning that's the power of leveraging profit taking the money that you make from your sales and putting them back into the business so what you're doing there is you're growing the company without using your own money all right extremely powerful the other way you can uh, leverage profit is when you already have private label products and let's say you get one selling really well and it's doing say 1500 pounds a month profit you can take the money from that private label product and you can invest it in your second product right so now you've used product one to fund product two right, if your products are profitable this is what you should be doing really rather than taking all the money out of the business Put it back into the business to buy more stock to keep launching new products to grow the business as fast as possible so there's two ways you can leverage profit and the third p is people so in any business like you don't want to be doing everything right now we've already used the power of amazon and used all the people uh, you get to use as part of fba the custom service the storage the warehouse people the delivery people right and you know that part's handled but you don't have to pay those people wages you know it's all done as a percentage or a flat fee for the amazon fees when i say people i'm talking about virtual assistants now you can get people to research products for you you can get people to message suppliers for you you can get people to um, manage your inventory your accountant is another person right? you don't need to learn tax laws um, and how to do bookkeeping and all this stuff. You can just pay someone to do it. Prep centers can help you receive stock in the UK and send it into your account. And there's loads of other people that you can surround yourself with to help build your business faster. So these are the three P's. All right. Power of Amazon, profit, 
and people. So how do you actually use these to get to six figures faster? And what's the quickest way to get there? Well, the first thing you want to do really is always try to find very profitable products. The more profitable your products are, the easier it is to leverage profit because obviously the more profit you have, the more you have to invest, the faster you can grow. So this is two things, right? Number one, sourcing stock really, really, really cheap. And number two, being able to charge loads for your product, right? The bigger that gap is, the more profit you're going to make. Now, obviously, this isn't easily done in, in practice because finding cheap stock can be tricky, but also charging a lot of money can be tricky because there's a lot of competition who will just keep reducing the price over and over and over again. The way to actually make these two things happen in reality is to just scan a ton of products. Like in the beginning of my journey, one of the first products I found, which was just so life-changing, like genuinely life-changing, was a call blocker. So you remember when you used to get all of those like spam phone calls from people uh, trying to sell you PPI uh, claims and stuff, right, back in 2013, 2014, uh, and other nonsense telemarketing calls. Well, this was a little electronic device you could plug uh, into your home phone and it would recognize telemarketing numbers and block them. And as you can imagine, this product was extremely popular. Now it was selling on Amazon for, I believe it was $34.99. And I remember I saw it in Robert Dyer's in Richmond on the shelf. I saw eight of them selling for five pounds each. And I scanned one of these products um, on the shelf and I checked the bestseller rank and I was blown away. In fact, I thought it was too good to be true at the time. Right, and um, I was like, "This is going to sell so fast." So I just bought four. Right, I bought four of these products, and it cost me twenty pounds for those four products. Sent them into Amazon, and within an hour of them hitting the warehouse, one had already sold, and then overnight, the other three sold. So I just made ninety pounds profit after all fees, and um, after the cost of the stock in literally a few hours. So that's, I mean, that gave me so much profit to leverage. And what I did next was I used that money to buy train tickets to find every single call blocker in the UK. I called up Robert Dyers in all of the locations in and around London, and I ended up finding 28 of these call blockers and making about 970 pounds in profit uh, within about four or five days finding these, these call blockers. That got my business started and I started to reinvest that money into more products. But the point is, the way I found that product is by searching for loads of products. I didn't just you know, scan the first thing on the shelf and it was a cool blocker. No, I, before that I probably scanned close to 400 other products on store shelves. Right. So... The way to find these products that are insanely profitable is to look through tons of products until you find one. It doesn't matter if it's private label or if it's arbitrage, it's the same thing. You have to do product research and it does take time. But if you put the time in, you will find these products which are just life-changing. And sometimes you have to launch a couple of products or sell a couple of products first before you get to one that sells really really well like before i found that product i was selling other bits and bobs that made two three pounds per sale that didn't sell very fast you know uh, but then after continuously doing it for a couple of weeks i found this product and that really was a catalyst great thing about when you have a, a product like this is it actually makes fba free like when you have a lot of profit from selling your product. Um, because the FBA fees are a percentage of your revenue and a flat fee for the postage, 
um, you're never going to be out of pocket. Like, let's say you do a million in sales on Amazon, probably 300,000 of that is going to go to Amazon fees. But the great thing is, unlike any other business on the planet, like if you have a restaurant, like you have to pay the rent regardless of how much sales you make, right? You have to pay your staff regardless of how many sales you make. You have to pay the business rates. You probably have to buy a load of food and drinks as well, regardless of how popular your restaurant is. With Amazon, it's done as a percentage and it's done after you've made your sales, right? So this is amazing. So if your products are profitable, and basically, Amazon doing all that work for you is pretty much free. And the final way to use leverage properly is to always surround yourself with a team. Right? In the beginning, this is going to be a little bit tricky because right? you don't have the profit to invest in people. But you know, in the beginning, a team could just be an advisor. It could just be somebody that you're helping. Like watching these videos from me, in a way... Is like having uh, somebody on your side helping you grow your business, right? It's not exactly having a staff member, but it's as close as you're going to get before you can actually afford to pay someone. The next thing you should do as soon as you can is get a virtual assistant, someone who can do just the little tasks in your business which need to be done, but really shouldn't be done by you. Product research is probably one of these tasks. Messaging suppliers on Alibaba, probably one of these tasks, because the back and forth can be very, very time consuming. Um, and depending on the direction your business goes, um, it will change what you need to hire people to do. Like if you decide to start marketing on Instagram, for example, you could hire someone to manage the adverts for you. You know, Whatever direction your business takes, that will determine what people you need to surround yourself with. For example, getting an accountant as soon as possible is really, um, really, really necessary, right? Because otherwise you're just going to get into a mess and you, it's going to be very stressful, right? So having an accountant on your team saves you from having to worry about all of the legal stuff, all of the tax stuff. And really what you want to do is specialize in the stuff that you know you're good at. Like I know I'm good at taking action, finding stuff that sells, right? Because I've learned that skill. And marketing and sales. I know I'm good at that. I'm not particularly good at bookkeeping, right? So I've got a bookkeeper. I'm not particularly good at fiddly stuff and things, so I have assistants, right? So figure out what it is you're good with. Like, I'm not very good with um, all the nitty gritty of importing. So I have a freight forwarder who does that stuff for me, right? I'm not the most knowledgeable person about like the actual import process because I don't do it. Right? I'm more interested in finding products that make tons of money and uh, getting them to sell and writing great listings and running PPC campaigns and stuff like that. Like That's where I specialize. I'm not an expert in making products. Like, my supplier does that for me. I have suggestions for them and I know what the customers want, but I don't know how to make products. I couldn't make a spatula with my own bare hands. It would be unusable, right? Because that's not my speciality. So figure out what you want to specialize in. So if you understand that this is really what you're doing, you're just basically leveraging these three Ps, then you can get to six figures much, 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 much faster. I think what a lot of people fail to realize is just how powerful this opportunity actually is. Like just what you really have at your fingertips when you're starting an Amazon business. Um, and yeah, if you don't understand this leverage is really what you're getting access to, then of course you're not going to be motivated. Like of course you're not going to take action uh, and move forward. All right. But when you do have like a clear idea in your head of look, this is what um, I have at my fingertips. Like, you'll be more motivated, more excited to get it moving, and you won't complain as much. Like, I see a lot of people on like, Amazon seller forums just whinging and complaining about how slow Amazon is and how terrible they are. 
and all this nonsense. And yeah, you know what? It's kind of true. Like, they could be better for sure. But, like, for what it is, like, there's nothing else like it on the whole entire planet. Like, what other company will pretty much run your entire business for you? Like, yes, it might not be perfect, but it's such an incredible opportunity that really we shouldn't be complaining about it. And I think understanding how much leverage we really have here um, is the key to putting things in perspective and, and getting results. So, first of all, understand what leverage you have and how to use it. And second of all, find those profitable products, build your team, and really that's it. Like a lot of people overcomplicate selling on Amazon. You know, um, They get caught up in the details and I just think that that's, it's a dangerous game. Right, we're, we're buying stuff cheap and we're selling it for a profit. Like that's what we're doing. Like it really is that simple and everything else around that should be focused around buying more stuff for cheap so we can sell it for a profit. And this leverage enables us to do this at an insane scale. Like I've had some years where I've done like 15,000 sales. And yeah, if I had to post these products to individual customers, 15,000 orders myself, like I'd probably have some kind of back injury. Right, but because Amazon's doing it, it just doesn't bother me. You know, I could probably have 100,000 sales in a year. Um, and it, I don't care, because I'm not doing the work, right? So this is, this is the power you have. And if you use this leverage properly, you can shift a hell of a lot of stock. And you can just really grow the business to whatever level you want. So, hope this has been helpful. A little bit of a rant. I just wanted to remind you really what, you know, the power that you have when you're selling on Amazon and put things into perspective a little bit. And yeah, so if you need some help, there's links in the description. Make sure you subscribe to the channel as well. Um, and yeah, hope this was inspiring and I'll catch up very soon.